Life in the NASA channel episode 16. Uh, it is game day today. I'll be backing up today and uh, Axel Brage is going to get the start. It's Champions League playoffs, the second leg of our series against Klagenfurt. And we lost the first game 4 nothing. and the format is that uh, it's combined goals. So we're like starting the game down 4 nothing. So we have to win by more than four goals today. And for the rest of the week, we're on the road. Uh, two games, Thursday, Saturday, and looking to bounce back after last week and kind of get on the winning column again. But if you're looking for Christmas presents, click the link in description, um, use the code XMAS20, and you still have a chance to get those shipped and delivered before Christmas. There's some ugly sweaters and all kinds of new designs as well. So make sure to check that out. And also, November is gonna be here for a few more days, I guess. So. Uh, you can donate to a good cause for men's health on the description as well. But thank you for watching and I'm gonna head over to the morning's cape. What's up guys? Starting a new journey. got back from the rink and this was waiting for me there so let's see what kind of mail I got today and if you want to send something to me I put the address here if it's Christmas presents stuff to sign make sure to uh, make sure to add the return shipping taken care of but here okay we do have a return shipping which is great a little handwritten note and my rookie card. I love these things. These are so cool. And nice personalized letter. Big shout out to Zach for sending this out. So I'm gonna sign the card, ship it back. But yeah, like I said, if you um, have anything to send me, send it to the rink and the stuff might get even featured on the vlog. So, but Zach, this is gonna get signed and it's coming your way. Just heading to the game. It's 4.30 and it's pitch dark. Not a huge fan of that. We gotta win by five goals. If we win four, nothing, five, one, six, two, it'll go to overtime and then it's sudden death who, who moves on. It's a big challenge for us, but we get home ice, so uh, we'll see what happens. Round of 16, the return game between Lexand and Klagenfurt. Isak Rosian driving toward the net with the shot and starts the scoring for Lexand as Rosian able to find on the power play a little bit later. Isak Rosian from the right circle, able to bury his second goal of the game. A few moments later, another power play. Emil Haneman, a turnover here. Klagenfurt unable to capitalize on it as Manuel Ganal, Axel Brage, got a piece of it. Tip down in front as Matt Cato find Thomas Humderfunt. Throws one on net and then jams it past. Does taking it away, Justin Kloos, then Emil Heinemann. And keep Klagenfurt at bay. Heinemann going top shelf for the third time tonight. End up scoring eight goals as they add the empty net goal. Lost the opening game, but bounced back at home and went eight to one. And the boys did it, eight to one, and we move on to the second round of Champions League playoffs. But we are heading out on the road tomorrow for the rest of the week, so I gotta pack up. Emil Heinemann scored hat trick, three goals. Uh, Isak Rosen got two goals. So our young guys were on fire today, carrying the team, uh, and Axe in the net was kicking and um, got us a big, big win. So it got a little tight there when we were up five nothing and they scored to go five one, which made the whole series tied. And that's, that was the only time. Uh, so that's when things got a little interesting, but um, we were able to take care of business. So that was good to see. Uh, first win in a while for the team. Good bounce back game. And uh, obviously it feels good to uh, keep going in the Champions League. And I think we play for a down, uh, 
next round. Big challenge for us since they're like the three time champs, three times in a row. They won it, Champions League, so should be a fun series. But yeah, I gotta pack up. It's pretty late here after the game um, since we go to Linköping and Rögle. So I gotta pack up and figure out what to bring. Like What's your goal? How many hundred million? You gotta go fight. You're the best. That's good. Thank you. Just got to the Scandic here in Linköping and I'm gonna do a quick room tour. This is actually one of the bigger rooms I've had so far this season. But just gonna do a quick change. Um, some of us are going to uh, an actual restaurant for dinner, which has been rare this season. <laughs> going to uh, going to a restaurant, so I'm excited for that. And heard this place has some vegan food too for me, so should be a good setup and kind of just enjoy the evening. And then it's game time tomorrow. Game day, start day in lane jumping. Lidl och Henrik Törnqvist och det är Brock Lidl direkt som kan avancera, får en chans, får två chanser och Törnqvist lika så till slut ligger pucken i mål. Kristoffer Ehn som öppnar målskyttet för Linköping efter 20 sekunder. Vi var inne på det inför matchen att den här enheten i offensiv zon Sakrisson på nytt och sen nu kvitterat. Och vem är det som står framför Marcus Högberg? Där Jonas Jundland följer med upp i anfallet. Maxwell. Lurigt skott och det är tur och det är 2-1 för Linköping. Och det är premiärmålskytt i SHL i form av Ben Maxwell. Ganske så som stoppar den pucken men det är en som läser det. Och där är han med klubban och det är en jätteräddning signerad utav Casimir Kaskiso. Men Linköpings ledarna ville ha offside så inte fallet och då blir det kvittera genom Emil Heineman. Och om det var uppretat, läxan Kalle Schelin. Schelin med skottet och det är mål! Det tar på Linköpings spelare eller möjligtvis Martin Karlsson och läxan har värst plattan på läxans målvakten. Jesper Pettersson med skottet. Kaskeso som läser spelet så bra kommer ut och gör sig stor och stark men inte på den returen när Linköping 
till slut. Kvitterar. Här Kristoffer igen sticker i mitten. Friläge för en inför andra i kväll. Och det gör han. Han ger Linköping ledningen med minuter kvar på den andra perioden. Öppnade. Mycket fin passning. Very no. För sitt andra när han distinkt trycker. Tillfälligt innan Patrick Russell har med sig Vilmos Gallo på bortre stolpen. Och det är en ledningsmål och en tvåmålsskytt i Linköping på nytt. Vilmos Gallo som är på egen retur och trycker upp pucken i taket bakom Casimir Castizou. Driver in Nils Åhman, tar vid för Leksand. Matt Cato, 6,5 minut kvar när Kiros... Ja, det är Martin Karlsson möjligtvis som styr och då är även han tvåmålsskytt i matchen. Törnqvist då för Linköpings del. Och det är en delikat räddning utav Casimir Kaskeso som är helt, helt överspelad. Men på något sätt Max Verano. Och det är distinkt. Game recap time. So back in the win column in the SHL, um, 6-5 shootout win against Lin Jepping. Five goals doesn't sound that good, but um, that's the beauty of the expected goal save percentage, which was pretty good, I think around 94. Um, so three of the goals were tipped out in front. One of them was by our guy, which created a rebound right in front and ended up scoring. One was... I think the second goal was um, a shot when they cut in front of me and it came behind them. I thought it hit them. I don't think it did, but I uh, just kind of had to react to that dropping puck since it wasn't like a hard shot, more like a throw-in, which is harder to predict when you don't see it, when you don't see it which created a rebound, and we kind of just gave it to their guy and right in front of the net. So. And then one goal was a breakaway goal that just kind of barely touched the glove. So. Close on that one, but Max Verno got two goals. Martin Carlson got two goals. Uh, so big night for us offensively after after last week where we only scored one goal and goal in three games. And this week we scored eight in the CHL game, and then um, now five in this one. And in the shootout, Max scored another goal. I kind of got lucky on the first save. Um, he deked me out, but I was lucky enough to reach back and kind of get the puck with my paddle from the goal line and that was a big win for us obviously after uh some struggles in the shl get some get some points finally but i almost messed up one one in the in the first period went to play the puck and uh try to make a pass and obviously and of course it hit the guy's shaft bounced up so he could play with his hand and then they pretty much had an empty net but somehow was able to get my stick on it so that would have been a tough start three goals in the first but it's a big win that's all that matters so uh we're still here in Linköping just gonna take the bus today to Angleholm well where regular place so they're number two in the league I think right now so it should be a big challenge but yeah hopefully our offense is gonna stay hot and uh we'll clean up some of those things defensively and try to make it a three win week Just got to Engelholm, to the hotel, um, not a Scandic, who's 57 I think this place is called. It's, I like the dark vibes to this room, pretty uh, normal, small bed, but that'll be enough. Yeah, we got like an hour until team dinner and then uh, just gonna relax. I might go for a walk to get the legs moving before dinner.
på Lyrenäs. Larsson, Samuel Jonsson. Jonsson bakom ryggen till Ludvig Lundgren. Mycket trafik framför Kaskiso. Vart framåt. Anton Bengtsson som får med sig pucken. Mäcker och försöker avvärja. Och sedan har de ström. Och pucken ligger inte bakom Kasimir Kaskiso. Hitta den passningen till Kalle Schelin i mitten. Finns Max Verno. Får inte trätt på pucken. Istället Mac, eh, Matt Cato. Tillbaka till Kart Camper. Max Verno står redo runt. Målet för styrning. Bretén hoppande, studsande puck. Ferguson på nytt har Anton Bengtsson utanför sig och även Adam Edström. Men där spelar han tätt, målvakten i Leksand. Ja, det gäller att... Justin Close. Skottläge för Justin Close och det är 1-0 för Leksand. Skottet från Justin Clues som ser ut att ändra riktning lite grann från Lakeville i Minnesota. Kandergård fiskar upp den. Lösa pucken! Och då serverar han Kalle Schelin för 2-0 Leksand. Öppnar upp här för Emil Heinemann och Heinemann trycker in pucken. Och då är det 3-0 för Leksand som har en lyckominut i öppningen av den tredje perioden. Samuel Jonsson, skottläge, håller in i Keller istället. Snabb reaktion med Pl Hassel och Sarri i tur och så ligger mot fyra. Ingen målvakt. Tamblini med skottet. Tamblini går i två och då är det reducerat. Målnollan spricker och grabbarna i peruker gläds åt att Rögle är på måltavlan med sex minuter. Max Verno skrinnar mot det öppna målet och Max Verno som kommer att göra mål även fast pucken inte går in. What a difference a week can make. Last week we were 0-3 and this week 3-0. So we bounced back. So it's good to see guys uh, stepping up and improving on those on things that we we needed to work on and winning is a lot more fun than than losing that's for sure though so the vibes on the bus home were pretty good um the guys are definitely feeling more confident after after last week so uh just gonna hoping to uh ride this out until christmas break 4-1 win over regla uh justin clues got started in the second period Kalle shaleen got the second goal emil heinemann again on the with the third goal and Max Verano, this guy just keeps scoring. Uh, honey Badger got the got the empty netter. But we did a great job defending, uh, kind of fixing those little things that uh, kind of cost us in the Lynch Open game. Just blocking shots and clearing those rebounds. And, um, you know, it was, it was a big difference for us defensively. So nothing too great for me to figure out. So um, those, were, those were fun games to play for sure. When the, when the guys are battling hard and controlling the game and then Uh, just making making my job easy. So a uh, big three points to finish off the week. But today's a day off. Uh, I'm gonna go to the rink. Just gonna probably do some bike, stretch out, get ready for another three game week. But just gonna recharge after the long road trip. But I do hope you guys enjoy the uh, behind the scenes I can give you of real bro hockey. And I know it's not very action packed life, but. You know, it's it's practice and then it's recovery and then it's game. So uh, that's that's pretty much my life here. And so I do appreciate you guys watching and um, big shout out to all the channel members once again. And make sure to check out all those links like I mentioned earlier. Uh, the merch is still live for that promo code. Uh, and Visual Edge, if you're watching today on Monday on the premiere, um, today's the last day to take advantage of Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals to get started on your vision training program. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, um, my wife Whitney is starting her own YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe to that. It's going to be kind of her life, her side of the whole hockey lifestyle. So that should be very interesting, hoping to help her to get started. And uh, yeah, like I said, would appreciate all the subs so she can get started. Her link will be in the description as well. But that's it. That's a fun week. Like I've like I've said before, it's it's a lot more fun in front of the camera uh, after you're winning. So 
Uh, just make sure to subscribe, ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos because I have something more coming up as well, not just the vlogs, but more of a uh, more hockey content and those GoPro videos as you seem to enjoy. And make sure to drop some Q&A questions in the comments. So I'll uh, try to tackle some of those in the future videos. But that is it. Thank you guys for watching.